KCFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you, and I just want to share with you that I am in Maui on a self-directed health retreat, and I'm really excited about it. This has been years in the dreaming, and from the, underneath the covers, it felt like an impossibility back in the day. And after four years of working in recovery, I finally was, you know, felt like it was a place physically where I could do this. So I came with my family. They stayed for a week and then left me to it. And um, it's been a really great trip. And I just want to share with you a little bit about what I've been doing and what this trip is about. And so, you know, my whole intention was to come and build resilience and build physical independence with, you know, the shopping and the cooking and just looking after myself. And so uh, I was all motivated. I was going to be doing my workouts every day. I was going to be swimming every day. I was going to be um, working on a brain retraining program every day. And uh, I had high ambitions. And I was very excited because I used to live in Maui as well. And um, so I love this island. It means so much to me. And I knew it would be a great healing place for me. And so um, the funny thing is, uh, the first day I was heading out to the beach and I got on the beach and I walked and it was just such a beautiful morning. And I was on the, the beach right in front of the resort and um, I went a really good ways down. And when I made a turn to come back, it was a, it's a really steep beach where I was. Something, I heard a, or felt a snap <laughs> in my leg. And the next minute I was, on the sand and I couldn't even get up and stand and put weight on that foot and so I actually sat down for a minute and composed myself and I uh, ended up calling a couple of young men over to help me off the beach and then uh, I had to get into a wheelchair to get back to the room and you can imagine my mindset took a very steep dive I was like no way not the wheelchair don't put me back in the wheelchair not that I've been in a wheelchair a lot but you know through this illness I've needed it for support but this just was not a part of my plan I was very concerned should I stay should I go should I leave with my family I've got to go grocery shopping I can't even walk I'm on crutches now so anyway I stayed and I'm so thankful that I did you know it's it's interesting um it just kind of changed the direction of all my goals on the trip, but that's okay. You know, it's been a great trip. I became very enamored with all the flowers around me. I've been in the moment. I've just been loving the sunsets, loving the beach walks. I finally got on the beach this week after three and, three and a half weeks. I've gotten on the beach now for a walk and gotten into the ocean. So um, it's just been an amazing trip, you know, and... Yeah, I'm a little disappointed I couldn't do all the fitness stuff that I wanted to do, but I'm so thankful for um, just the environment and getting in touch with who I am and who I was when I lived on this island because I was very independent and very adventurous. And the thing is, I think that when we've been sick for so long with CFS, we kind of forget who our core is. And so it was, it's been so nice to get here and just immerse myself in that. And the more I'm learning with brain retraining, the more I'm understanding that, you know, mental rehearsal, brain rehearsal, brain retraining, it's so, and visualization, it's just so important to get our bodies in a healing state and to help our lives move in a different direction. So I just want to encourage you in that. But anyway, I, I wonder if you've got this dream. You know, so many CFSers, I read an article by Daniel Nefer that said almost everyone he had interviewed that recovered, including himself, had this dream to get away somewhere to nature, whether it was out in the woods or in the forest, but just be isolated and be away from everything. And he conjectured that it might be because this is a neurological illness and it's that overstimulation of everything in our daily lives that it's like there's something instinctive in us that knows that we need to get away to heal. And so I don't think you have to get away to heal and not all of those people, I don't know that any of them went and got away to nature. Most of them weren't able to do it. And that was me for so many you know, years. I wouldn't be able to go and be somewhere on my own and function. So it's so wonderful to get to that place. And I just want to encourage you that if you have that dream, hold on to it and feed it and stay committed to your recovery because there will come a time in your recovery where you will be able to do this. And so it's just been a really great thing for me. And, and just a couple things I want to share um, along these lines is... Uh, I was sitting on the beach uh, 
when I'd finally gotten on the beach this week, I had a little beach chair and I was sitting in the surf on that chair, just enjoying it. And I noticed this little shell, you know, some of those little spindly shells and it was rolling around and I was like, oh man. So I caught it for a minute and noticed it was alive. It had a little foot in there of the little creature. And so I put it back down and I watched it as the surf rolled up and just tossed it everywhere. It rolled everywhere. And that happened a few times. And then finally it just kind of settled and I noticed once the surf was gone, it, dug, it, it just pushed its little foot out into the sand. And the next surf that came actually helped it dig a little bit deeper. And then another roll of waves came up and even deeper till it just disappeared. And I thought, you know what? That's really interesting how life is and how we can get tossed and turned like that little shell. And yet we need to put out our little foot and make our stand and dig in to the thing that is really going to feed our spirit and that's going to ground us. And so I think that little shell was getting grounded. And then when the waves came, they actually helped strengthen him. Uh, his, his, it actually gave him more strength to dig in deeper. So it actually helped bury him in the sand. And so, you know, I just think that happens to us. I know for me, coming back here and getting really in touch with nature and my relationship with God, my faith, that, that is my solid. That and the scripture is my solid that I go to to find that inner resource of strength. So if you are struggling and you need that, I would encourage you to, you know, to, to call out to God and ask him for help. I mean, another thing that's been really neat is in the mornings when I wake up, and I've actually found a couple around the condo, I have geckos in my condo. And I don't know if you've ever seen a gecko. They are so adorable. And when I lived here in Hawaii, it was like, it was a really special thing if you had a gecko in your room. First of all, they make a noise that sounds like gecko, gecko. And so these guys have been like in my bedroom when I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I see up on the ceiling. And it's just so cute. And the thing is, I look, I know what they symbolize. They symbolize transformation, renewal, and a restart. So I just love having them around me. I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm doing, baby. I am transforming. And this journey really is very transformative. So stick with it. Know that you're going to come out stronger with a better direction in life and you're going to still be blessed. So just hang on to that and keep going, warriors. Remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.